All right, welcome back everyone. I'm Arali and I don't even know which part this is. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm like rapidly <laughs> like recording these because I'm so into it, right? This is like the moment that I've been telling you guys about. So, you know, this is where stuff really happens. And um, yeah, so I mean, we're, we're you know, we're, we're going through this. We're, this is happening. So uh, last episode, again, I, I'm going to give like a quick recap here, but... Uh, obviously, you guys should have watched it. Um, but yeah, so the Mechon are attacking, okay? And you can actually see the fighting happening, all right? And you can actually see it happening right outside. Can How low, how far can I go down? But do you see all those little, like, flashing lights? They're fighting around Prison Island, okay? That's that's where the battle is raging right now. That's the uh, defense systems are fighting against the Mechons. And uh, the Mechon, Mechons, Mechon. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there was one thing I wanted to talk about last episode that I didn't, uh, just real quick. So, someone, and I like that the game doesn't force feed you, uh, certain information, okay? Uh, because sometimes I feel like it's up to the player to maybe come up with certain solutions and maybe leave some stuff open-ended without having, like you know, 100% like, this is what that is, right? Or this is what this is about or whatever. But uh, someone might be wondering why they were push why the Emperor was pushing so hard for Melia to take the throne, right? It was, or like become crown princess or whatever, right? We can actually see the battle probably better from here. Yeah, you can actually see it better from here. So uh, there's still some defense drones that are flying around the capital, obviously, but there is fighting happening on that side over there. So, um, but why is the Emperor pushing so hard for Melia to take the the spot as Crown Princess? Well, because a month ago, he he was shown a vision by Elvis that showed his death. So that's why he was pushing so hard. He was like, oh, okay, well, if I'm going to die in a month, like if, if there's... Because the visions are just a possibility, right? Because Elvis was like, well, we can change it, right? If you want to change that future, we can um, and the Emperor is just like, you know, he's thinking, if there's a possibility that I'm going to die in a month, I want to make sure that I have a successor and it's, that that successor is accepted and it's the successor that I, successor that I want uh, for the throne. Um, so that's why he was pushing so hard for, uh, for that to, like, you know, be rushed. Like, we don't have time. We got to get her in there and become crown princess. So, um... But yeah, so Mechon are attacking, and uh, there's a vision of the Emperor at a Prison Island, and why is that Why is that the case? And he uh, was like, we can't escape our destiny, and he grabs this like weird staff-looking thing, and he, uh, you know, apparently is on the way. So we want to stop him, or we want to talk to him, not necessarily stop him, but at least talk to him and see what's going on. What is this guy wearing on his hat? That's a kind of cool. That's a cool headpiece. I like that. Very nice. Um, so yeah. Uh, here we go. Let's go talk to the emperor. And yeah, so I'm just like rapidly. I'm like I I can't stop. I'm just like I should be in bed. Like I should have been in bed hours ago. But I'm like nope. Sorry, we're gonna record more episodes because this is just so good. Um, but yeah, let's go talk to the Emperor. Everything still seems peaceful here. They haven't broken all the way through uh, the defenses of Prison Island yet. Brother! Where is Father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So Father has gone. I... Kallian! The Emperor has proceeded to the island alone. For the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. Of what will happen to him, and what he must do before then. You saw something. I did, during our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia. We must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Shh. 
Silk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we care for. You too, Melia. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Dumban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? We go to Prison Island. I love Dunban. Can I just say that I, I love, love, love Dunban. Uh, oh, look, Lorthea is here. Wait, is Alvis coming with us? No, he's not. Okay. So, Lorthea is here. I don't know what happened to Alvis. Is he here? Is he? Hello? Hello, Alvis? Lorthea is here. What does she say? His man has departed. He's so brave. Doesn't be able to protect. Okay. We all know you're... Uh, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's move on from that. It's like, you're a lying bitch. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened else. Bye, everyone. Um, but yeah, Dunban is so cool. Like, to me, he's... He's... <clears throat> He's more than just like the the regular like teacher character, you know, the the like oh yeah, you know, I'm just following you now because you are the no, he like takes charge in certain situations and he like it, it's so cool cuz you know the trope of wow, look at this. Look at how high up we are. I I can literally fall down there if I wanted to. That is insane. Uh who's having Ooh, look at that. When they're like all the way up there, you can have a heart to heart between those two. Interesting. Very interesting. Um But yeah, he's such a he's such a badass, right? Cause the whole time that we've been here, he's been talking about, well, there are different people and they have different viewpoints and they have different customs and blah 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 blah. But when it comes down to like saving someone's life, you know, you throw all that out of the window. Like at that point he's just like he he's such a becomes such a logical person, right? Where he's just like screw your you know screw your destiny, respect like your laws and like all that stuff. Like I don't care about that stuff. I'm gonna go and save this man. Like I'm gonna go save the emperor. And you're all coming with me because I know you all feel the same way. And I love that. It's he's such a great character. I really 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 enjoy Dan Um You know because he I don't know he always seems like level headed, but when it comes down to it, he's just like. A little bit gung ho as well. So, uh, you know, when he needs to be, and right now he needs to be, and he's just like taking that charge. Um, so, uh, let's look at arts for a second. Um, summon bold. So, the thing that I, that I found in the treasure room was the next level of summon bold. Remember how we found that thing in the in the thing and uh, in the in the treasure room and it was like summon bolt. Yeah, well that was the that was level three of it. So that's really cool. That's really really cool. But um, yeah, we have a lot of other stuff still that I kind of I want to get. Uh, burst end and mind blast. Is that is that not available here? The final step. Okay. Are you that? Um. Yeah, because she has, like, these other ones that I, I don't care for. Oh, I don't care. Alright, I'm not buying any equipment. Thank you, and please come again. Alright, I just wanted to check that out. Um, I'm guessing that maybe we'll we'll find... I, I really want more stuff for... I want more stuff for everyone. We're kind of getting to the point where everyone is leveling up to max on the abilities that I'm using with them. Uh, so I need to find some more merchants. So... Hopefully we'll get something. I doubt we'll get anything at Prison Island, but yeah. But yeah, so uh, we go to this moment that I've kind of built up to, or that the story has kind of built up to. You know, I mean, we're we're facing the Mechon, right? The whole idea is that we want revenge for Fiora's death and all the other people that died in the colonies. I mean, Colony Six was completely like eradicated. You know. Oh, there they are. 
Mission is beginning to bug me! <laughs> Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Ginormous things at 12 o'clock! Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this. Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. All right, so we have to open the sister gates, open the seal, blah, blah, blah. So we kind of get a mark on uh, where that needs to happen, but obviously we have a guide. So yeah, uh, Prison Island, uh, we can't really see it, but uh, these ancient beasts that were sealed within the, the, the island were released. And they look kind of like the beasts that we've been fighting, like the... Uh, the ones where I was like, oh, they look like Telethia. Remember those? They were like flying around at night here. Um, oh God, why does it have to rain? Because then the strong guys come out and I don't want to deal with them. Let's try to make it nighttime and maybe we'll let's stop raining. Maybe we'll see more at Prison Island. No, not really. Um, but yeah, those guys, they kind of look like those guys over there. Don't they? Like the Chlorolia? That's kind of what they, but they look like big versions of those. Uh, maybe they're the same kind of like species or something, but the ones that were in Prison Island were like bigger. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so they they kind of were they were uh, released uh, to I don't know protect Prison Island or something, but they're attacking the Mechon now. So the defense systems that are around the drones, so to say, that are flying around that are protecting the capital. Uh, most of those. Except for the ones that are, I guess, protecting the actual capital. They're like, yeah, the ones that are flying around the capital. Uh, like, all but those have been destroyed. Uh, and then now, all of a sudden, these monsters are released. So, uh, at least they're keeping the Mechon busy. So, that's good. It gives us enough time to get there. But, um, how did they get unleashed? Like, how did these monsters get unleashed upon the world so that's kind of weird right so the lighthouse over there it still doesn't quite work i don't think um i think we need to finish some quests to make that work but uh, i want to say that the seals as well are on on those towers so you see that tower over there i think there's one of them and then there's one over on that tower and then that opens right in the middle that middle platform right there that's that's uh like a like a gate opens like a I think like a new, like a different transporter or something opens up. I, I don't remember what it was, but um, yeah. So we can kind of uh, that. There's a shop here. Do you guys see that? There's a shop here. Let's go let's check that out. Can I talk to the shopkeeper? Is that new? Is that after? I don't. I don't remember there being one. Is it here? Is it up top? If it's up top, then it wasn't there before. I can be very certain of that. Yeah, there was definitely not someone up here. So let's see if he has... Oh my god. What? You weapons for everyone? Huh. But they're not even that good. They're not even that good. What the heck? Oh, her. that's good for her. 
Electric plus ether up two. How much money? Oh, 26,000? Crap. And I don't really use her. So that's just like kind of a waste. Mithril gear. Oh my god. Of course, this stuff is like really good. Royal top. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This is like really good stuff. Oh my Jesus. Uh, we have all of these except for heal counter. Um, these are all like Dunpans. He's learned all of these now. That's kind of annoying. Oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna give myself the handicap handicap of not buying anything. And then we'll see how we do. If I completely suck, I might come back here at some point and, uh, you know, do that. But I don't want to waste any money. I kind of want to keep the money because uh, I know there's going to be, like, manuals and stuff that we need. And I, I do not want to miss out on those manuals. All right, let's just go because we, we're doing okay. I know that some of the boss fights have been kind of whatever. I don't know what what was going on with that boss fight specific. This guy's incredibly calm for what is happening right over there. Like we're getting closer. Remember, this is the trans uh, transporter that didn't work last time, and this is what we need to move forward. So, ooh, and we get some more of the the X. This is a Stella X. And we'll attack it because it's part of a quest. Prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves. I'm ready. Starfield flames of absolution. Uh, let's go on. First end. And mind blast. Nice. That does a ton of damage. Alright, let's see how much damage she does on this. Bam, 8,000. And we do another 8,000. Let's copy water. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Oh look, and we have got the pretty like that is that is such a weird image, right? Cause you like pretty much can imagine the horror of the fights that are happening over there, and then they have like, oh look at the pretty things falling from the sky. <laughs> it's really funny. Alright, we gotta attack this guy. What is he? He looks weird. I love him though. Dude, where are you going, bro? Attack! Alright, I have three bolts. Fire them! Bam! Bam! Alright, come on, let's do a copy. Summon copies. Some. Fire! Nice. Oh, he leveled up. I was like, what? What the hell just happened? Alright, cool, he leveled up. We get some quests done, which is nice. Uh, we obviously need money, as you guys can see. Since we're not... Wait, we have a boss? Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's okay. Star Searing Flames of Absolution! Completed a quest. Get some money. Let's do another mind blast. 
Let's do roly roly poly. Leave it to me. Let's do it. Bam. All right, that was okay damage. Uh oh, vision time. Slash. Oof. A lot of damage. Bam. Let's get another Thunderbolt. Bam. Look at how much damage she does. Every time she attacks, she just like a crap ton of damage. Uh oh. Now I'm panicking. Alright, let's do a chain attack before he attacks me. Go! Yay! Whoa, 35,000! Holy crap. And we leveled up, and we get a, we get a golden chest. See, fighting boss monsters, guys, so good. Ooh, lattice boots and quitter. That sounds like stuff I want. Okay. Uh, oh, she learned an art. She learned summon wind, which gives agility up. Circle around target, ether damage. So this is uh, this is like summon flare, like the fire one, which does like a circle around target, does like a fire damage thing. Uh, but it does strength up, where this is like, you know, and it's it's a damage over time thing. Um, I kind of want to level it up to see how strong that will get, maybe? Because um, this does like a lot of damage. So, let's try it out. Let's kind of set it instead of the fire. Uh, and let's try it on these guys. We'll do this, we'll do this, and then we summon another wind. Wow. She's just so strong. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me to... Let's do it. Mind blast. Alright, right, what was the weapon? It was a quitter for him. Hmm. Maximum the maximum on that auto attack is really bad though. Uh she can't wear that. He can. Uh, well, this is good for her, so she can wear that. That's fine. And Serpent is good for him as well. Uh, did we get any... We didn't get any tops. Oh, we did get the shell leggings. Is that... Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, the lattice boots is what it was. Okay. Um, This is the least amount for her, so I'm probably not going to give that to her. Uh, who does it? Ooh, it's the most on her, but I don't use her really. So, I think I'm gonna go with Ricky on that. Cool trunks. Oh, yeah, we looked at that. All right, so we got some new equipment. Equipment. Are we gonna go up here? There's an enemy up there. We gotta be careful of that enemy. Oh, and all the other enemies apparently that are around. That's fine though. We just need the item. Doomsday Poppy. Alright. Oh, and there's an ether deposit on the other side. So, they're too low levels. They won't attack us if we don't. Um. Kind of want to see the damage again. Uh. 
What is happening? Why can't I fire? Oh, he's trying to attack these guys. Mind blast. Raging Squall. I mean, that does pretty good damage. Let's do Bolt. Bam. Bam. Reason 8. Wow, that does a ton of damage. Holy crap. Good combos. I love it. Shell boots. Some crystals. Uh, there's something here that I need, apparently. Oh, this guy. So it just turned day, and I need to now defeat one of these guys. Oh, I didn't need... I, did, I don't need an AoE. It's nice to have AoE options, so... So let's change a little bit of the party here, because I do like Dunban, you know, uh, and maybe have the computer play Melia for a little bit. Because uh, her, her, it, it's so passive. It's just kind of you sit there and you're like, okay, which one am I going to use now? All right, this one. You know, with the melee characters, you kind of have to like move out of the way and move to the side and do all these things. So it's a little bit more engaging and I feel like the NPC will be just fine using her as our backup. We can see Prison Island right over there. I really like these like reef islands that have like coral on them and stuff. Oh, so cool. It's such a cool concept. You know, people that have like really cool f like uh, like imagination that come up with stuff like that. Oh, I love stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Ooh, X that we can def defeat. Let's kill some X. Break. And attack. Bam. All right, let's do chain attack. Uh, I gotta take this. Uh, oh god, I can't see. What does she have? Oh, okay, I don't know what ability she has. Oh no, I did too early. Ah, damn it. But that was really good. Um, so I didn't realize that. I, I didn't realize that the one attack that he has is behind him. So that new attack that I have in there, I don't know if you guys can see it, is like a it has a backwards like a fan thing, fan behind. I, I didn't realize that. So that is obviously gonna go away. Um Tempest kick, what is this? Um uh, enemy buffs. I mean that would be kinda cool. But you know, it's just kind of like...
guess we can do this. Uh, Let's go. Display no mercy. Psychics, try hard. At last, we move at the same pace. I'm looking forward to the results. No, no. I don't know. Whatever ability. Maybe you'll learn something else that I kind of want to use, but. Yeah, my evasion is up, guys. Of course I'm dodging like a pro. Bam. Great, she had her aqua. Aqua ability was up. Nice. Alright. I don't need to defeat that guys, so we can move on with our lives. So you guys can kind of see a little bit of battle and because I feel like the last couple episodes have just been like, you know, shoving story and lore and information like down our throats like forcefully and it's like, oh my god, okay. Um, but yeah, so we're, this is the last island before we get to Prison Island uh, and we have to go to the right. Uh, oh yeah, that, I forgot about that island up there. There's some kind of really cool side quest that happens up there. I don't remember what it was. Well, there's a cliff there. But look way down there. There's a little island down there too. And there's enemies, fly there's something flying around. I remember that uh, actually going to that island too. Um, in my last playthrough that I did. I tried to do some more side quests in my last playthrough. Especially around here because I really like this area. So... I was like, oh, let's check out some of these islands. So I want to see what these other islands are about. So I kind of explored a little bit and walked around and stuff. So uh, here's another reef. Uh, and there's the first island. So, oh, hello. Follow my lead. Display, no mercy. Display no mercy. Knock them down. Kind of, we scrolled out, uh, scrolled out. We zoomed out as much as we could. Ricky is also greatest strength. I don't know what he really means by that. Blossom dance, boom! Look at that damage. Tempest kick. Yay, we did a quest. AP, SP, we get a bunch of stuff. Love it. I love when that happens. Ooh, we have some enemies to fight. We got some X over there. He attacks so fast when he has haste, it's crazy. I love that. Chain attack! While he's on the ground. I know that the spike damage is hurting us, but... Nice, we did some good damage. Nice. Alright, and let's go. Wow, we're already at a chain attack? Let's do it. I'm all for it. I don't care. Bam. Wow, she summoned three elements that quickly? We just started the battle. Holy crap. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Bam, knock him down. Evasion up. Nice, quest done. 
Oh, Don't we get more money. Moonlit Defender. Monsters. Let's look at that. Ooh, skill trees. Skill links. Uh, with Melia. Awesome. Uh, great. <laughs> we don't have enough coins. Uh, with Dunban. Ooh, what do we have? Agility up reduces weight. Increases agility when HP is... Oh, okay, that's nice. That's good. I like that. And who did he get a... Oh, he got a branch. He learned something. Prevents encampment. Oh, okay. Low tension. Immunity. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What was I going to do? I was going to do something. Ah, I forgot. Uh, let's look at Collectopedia. That was not what I was going to do, but I just... Oh, look! Dolphin Carrot. Cute little vegetable, but eating it turns your tongue orange for weeks. For weeks? What's in this? What's in this carrot? Jesus. Man. Um, so the other transporter will take us to that cute little island that I talked about. Let's kind of go there. It's, I, I kind of want to see what's over there. Uh, there's also an ether deposit here. I haven't really done much with ether. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I mean, we could be going back to Colony 9 to do all this stuff, but... It's fine. I think it's worth it later on when they have... Um, because the affinity between the characters really plays a role in how good the crystals are that come out. So, they really have to like each other in order to get good crystals. So, I feel like it's worth it to do that much later and just save the materials for now. So we're at the ether plant. Uh, there's a heart to heart here. Can't quite see. Uh, we're not far enough in the story yet, I guess. Um, and oh, there's an item here that I need to grab. Is it down below? Or is it this? Oh, no, it's that item up there. So they're like, I guess they f they're farming ether uh, for their... Um, for their machines and stuff, they're like farming ether. And they're kind of like absorbing ether out of the air as the air moves through the wind uh the wind the windmills, I guess. So I'm trying to kind of collect some of the items that are around here. We're also very high up. We're as high as the uh lighthouse pretty much. Uh, was that the guy that has the yes. like No, something about the hoads attacking the lighthouse or something. Good footing. It gives you a ton of experience. Teach the head of the hoads a lesson. Use turbine access panel on the ether plant at RC to fix the plant. And defeat funeral Gazra at the hode refuge in RC. And collect the stuff. Okay, we need three pieces. Yes. And apparently I have already done stuff of this or parts of it so I can fix some stuff here um, so this one isn't working as you guys can see the blades are not moving it's kaput so we're fixing it and it's working again yay awesome we are fixing while they're getting attacked we're just like let's fix this Right, and then the first part, the first quest here is done. And then I guess we gotta do the other parts, but... Whatever. I might do those at some other point. Uh, we can jump down here. Ooh, ah! Oof. You're not the best decision, but there's a bunch of items down here. That's why I wanted to jump down there. Uh, is there stuff up here? Probably, I'm guessing. Hello, there's one item. Ooh, look at that. It looks so cool. I love this area. Man, this game is beautiful. I could just, like, just do this for hours. Just kind of walk around here and just, like, I don't know, live here. I mean, I could live here. Like, I would love to live here. I don't care if there's mech on. I'll just get strong and defeat all the mech on. <laughs> uh, Dilemma Rock. Any other items? I think that's it. So we go back up in the path. Yeah, there's so so there's one lone guy that's working at these really important things. Kind of seems weird, doesn't it? 
You would think more people would be working here. Did we get anything for a Collectopedia in this stuff? We didn't. We need one more plant and one more flower. Alright. Well, off we go. Again, I might do this at some um, in-between episodes, come back and finish up some quests or something. Alright. Yeah, doing all of the... I know people have asked me um, if I'm, you know, doing all of the side quests. There's no way. Like, it will take me three years to do all the side quests. It's insane. Because every time you you finish, side, like, one side quest, three more pop up. And it's crazy how many there are in this game. There's literally hundreds. And that was one of the things, like I said, uh, when I first started this game, like, I didn't realize how huge this game was. It was something that blew me away because... I remember the first time I did it, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do all the side quests. And then I ended up feeling really overwhelmed because I would finish one side quest and I would get like three more. And I'm like, oh my God, when am I going to move on from this area? Because they keep giving me side quests. And, you know, you kind of have to say like, screw it to some of them, you know, because that's just how it is. So we're at the first uh, seal here, the first thing. You know, sometimes you have to just kind of say, screw it, you know, I don't really care if I'm, if I'm, um, if I finish all of them, uh, because in this game, it's impossible to finish them. It, it really just is. I don't know. Alright, let's do my special move. Goodbye! God, spike damage is 660? That's a ton of damage. Alright, let's increase my evasion. Alright, let's attack really fast. And let's do this. I don't want to knock him down because that spike damage is just so bad. Let's do it, guys. Chain attack. Gale slash. Bam, bam, bam. Melia, go. Oh, uh, using your water? Great. Oh, no. I messed up. Ugh. I'm so bad. Knock him down. Nice. And we got a golden chest, too. Nice. Iron Wall, Nasher, and Firing Hammer. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's topple up 20%. I don't know what that means. I always forget how to look that up. Oh, there we go. Increases damage dealt to enemies suffering topple by 20%? And it's stronger? What? That's crazy. You're out of your mind. Alright. Moving on. That's pretty good, though. So, we can topple. Maybe not the X, because when we, when we do the X, then they, uh, you know, they get the, the spike damage or whatever, but... No, don't get your friends. Did you see he wanted to get his friends involved? So here we can do a knockdown, a topple. And then we do like so much more damage then. 20% more damage then. Wow, we're just we destroyed that guy. Yeah, no chance. Hello. Uh hello? Cumulus Denamos? What in the hell's happening? We got a boss fight. Look, there's someone in the in the do you see it? He's hanging. Uh 
he's immune to knockdown, so topple is not an option. Oh, come on, I messed up. Why do I always mess up in the really important times? Let's, let's kill this guy first. I'm gonna evade. Let's get my evasion up. I mean, the music is good, but I'm scared because we're gonna die. It's not good fighting a boss randomly like that. I'm just using all of my abilities. I don't even care. Uh, yeah, let's do bam, bam, bam. What does she have? I don't know what she has. Oh. Great. And I messed up. Oh my god, I swear I'm just so bad at this. Like, wow. Evasion. Guys, heal me. Someone heal me, please. Get me up. Oh my god. And we just did like a chain attack too. Gotta use my special. Ricky worth 100 no pounds. I knew it, Ricky. I need you to. Oh, we did it. Oh boy, that was really crazy. We got some more. Oh, we got Thunder Clap. That's what I call my, uh, you know what, I'm just kidding. Let's not even go there. Anyways, uh... Oh, she is using Gato's rifle, but there's a better rifle right here, so... Bye, Gato's rifle! She's still using it, because I have that equipped as her skin for that, so... That's fine. Um, what was it? We got Lattice Leggings. Um, hmm... That's really not that great. Shell boots. For her, we'll put those on her. Um, yeah, that's not, I don't know. Oh, that was a bit scary. All those boss fights. I, I love how in this game the boss fights are like, really like, they're just really hard, which is great. It's like, I don't know. Juan, the Tokos or Luga. On your feet now. All right, strength up. Oh, come on. Resisting. Oh god, we got I'm just using these abilities. Go. Leave this to me. Large hoof. We got a large hoof. Sea berry. Can I not fight enemies, please? Oh my god. We gotta fight all of these guys? What in the hell? Um the thing, the thing with that is, I'm gonna put Ryan in, okay? And the reason is because the AOEs, like, he has so much when it comes to AOEs. 
Uh, let's make sure that he has the pass that he can wield right now. He's still wearing those Empress Greaves. That's from like way early on, isn't it? I think it is. Hmm. Whatever. Alright, let's try to fight as Ryan for once. Let's maybe do that. Swap up the uh, group a little bit. See, he does like so much damage with those attacks. Like, watch him. Spin around! Alright, let's do some damage. God, she always uses her water last. That really sucks. Let me out and get me up. Yeah. All right. What does this exchange talent get for arts damage? So we got a lot of fight there's a lot of fights this episode I mean, we got a lot of stuff done uh which means that probably like arts and stuff like leveling them up yeah we have a lot of points to do that so we will probably do that at some point uh, i kind of want to accumulate them a lot and then like level a bunch of them up that would be really and we'll see like a huge increase in power that would be awesome all right we collect this item and it's so pretty. Uh, oh, we got this guy. Pelargos, a, a kid now. All right. So Hoats is riding him in a little basket around his neck. That's kind of what I was trying to point out earlier. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. And let's do Aura Burst. Hammer Beat. Bam. And Melia. Oh, water again. Oh my god, Melia. What in the fucking hell? <laughs> uh, maybe having Melia as my number one. Or, uh, not. As, as a computer player is probably not a good idea. I don't know, so we might change that back. You know, we gotta kind of switch it up though. Once more. Oh god, great, we got enemies that came out of freaking. Where did they come from? No one knows. No one knows where they came from. So we got an army of them. Alright, let's damage everyone. Alright, I'm gonna grab aggro. Learn. Someone learn the skill. 
Go. Yeah. Yeah, I love how Ryan has just like these pure attacks. Like, it's just attack. We don't care. We just attack. Aerith gear. Alright, so we're here in the first shield. Oh, great. And apparently we have friends. Oh, luckily that was wind. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna do a war swing. Wow, look, we did some good damage there. That was pretty decent damage. Because she actually had something that's actually strong for once. It wasn't her freaking aqua. Yeah, I don't think the NPC really knows how to use Melia effectively. I mean, right now, see? That's good damage right there. Alright. Dream Nasher. So who learned this skill? Uh, everyone has been. Sphinx down. Okay. Uh, she oh a skill link skill link uh, with who wait oh she learned a skill uh, okay and then he has a skill link with Melia but she can't use all right nice slowly in there right so uh, I think I'm gonna keep this party for a minute and uh, kind of like uh, keep that for a little bit. So the first seal is activated. Now we have to just go to the other one all the way over there. Which I guess you can kind of see. We go from there to that one over there. And then I think we go to like directly to it or something. I'm not sure. I don't see any connectors. So I'm not quite sure how that works. But yeah, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I said, we're kind of at this point where... Uh, once we get to Prison Island, guys, we're going to get to see some really, really cool stuff. And that is pretty much the, like, not the climax of the story or the game or anything like that. But it's it's pretty much the point where, um, I don't know, where, like, things really, like, start coming together. And, and you start seeing this, like, story actually, like, because I feel like we've been stuck on, like, trying to find the mechon for so long right that was like the whole thing and then we got involved with like melia's stuff now and that was the last few episodes and we kind of lost track of our own goal but now we're like we're right back on track and we're right where we need to be and you know and the mechon are involved like they were gone for so long we didn't deal with the mechon it was like telethia and then this and that blah blah, blah. so you know but yeah we're right back on track and this is where the game kind of heats up a little bit and uh leads up to like to eventually be the climate i mean it's not you know not anywhere close to being the climate but it's a very important point that that happens um shortly here and uh in a little bit so thank you guys so much for joining me i'm Arali. i uh, do stream over on twitch every sunday and monday if you guys want to join me i would love to have you uh if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel i would also really appreciate that and uh, leave a like and a comment down below uh and i will see you guys in the next episode bye guys